And now, this. And now, some thoughts from C-SPAN's most frequent caller. Let's get to your phone calls. We'll go to Walter in Butler, Indiana. Good morning. Is the government doing enough to prevent cyber attacks? Well, good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I don't know the answer. I have no idea. Here's uh, Butler, Indiana. We hear from Walter. Walter, Butler, Indiana. Walter is joining us from Butler, Indiana. Butler, Indiana, Republican line. Walter, hi there. On the Republican line, Walter. Walter. Walter is a Republican. Good morning. When this cold corona thing started, I, I hunkered down in my bunker. I went and bought maybe 400 bottles of good Irish whiskey. I loaded up my humidors with all of the top quality Maduro cigars. I went to the supermarket and I got corned beef hash and spam. And I've been hanging out in my bunker ever since. And I, I love watching TV because I'm too, too old to go out and do any kind of exercise. So I sit and watch the boob tube. Good morning. Thank you for taking my call. I, I usually talk to myself and no one listens. So now I have you on the line. I don't have the internet. I don't, I don't have Facebook. I don't have a cell phone. I deal with fine. If I get a little bummed out, I go outside and feed the ducks. I'm a proud non-owner of a cell phone, a computer, an internet. I don't tweet, twerk, Twitter, Facebook. I write letters in cursive. I put, in, put them in an envelope and mail them with a return to sender address on it. And I feel bad for you. You got your nice cup of coffee today, and you're probably dying to take a swig. So go right ahead. Oh, I've been. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Don't worry about me. But thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> That's about all I got to say, but I'm good on the spam. I still got spam. Remember spam? You just open up and put it in a frying pan, get two pieces of bread with some tomatoes and mayonnaise, and you're good to go. We'll let you go there, Walter, with a reminder, 30 days is the in-between calls, please, here on Washington Journal. And now, this. And now. Walter from Butler, Indiana, has some thoughts on mortality. Let's talk to Walter, who's calling from Butler, Indiana. Walter, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, I'm confused, and I don't mean to be snarky, but so what? They die. And when you're going to die, you're going to die. Like I said, I haven't been with a doctor since uh, I'm 65, well, 40-some 40, 40 years. I don't take any vitamins. I don't try to eat well. I do what I want, and I'm great. You know, when you're going to go, you're going to go. I've never taken a medication in my life. I've never taken anything except uh, uh, a vitamin. And I got all sorts of like hitches and problems and this and that. I don't go to a doctor and I feel that whenever the good Lord's ready to take me home, I'm going to be taken home. And in the end, we all die anyway. So what does it matter which way you go? So just, just shut up and deal with life the best you can. I mean, my friends and I would get out of the house early in the morning and we'd get on our bicycles and we'd play stickball in the streets. And we'd, if we wanted to go up to Sears, we'd We'd get on, uh, actually hang on the back of a bus and drive up over Don't Fordham Road to get off. And I mean, it was just insane. Nobody gets out alive. Okay. You know, it's like, uh, what, uh, what, the mystery of life. I and mean, what's my end game? To be in a nursing home, not knowing what I'm doing with drool coming out of my mouth and everybody around me has been dead. Not on my watch. No, thank All you. Right. <laughs> Don't win by staying around longer. Everybody else passes away and you have nobody to care for you anyway. So I just think that you should just throw out all your medications, get up every day, thank the Lord for the day you have and when it's going to go, go. Nothing is promised to you. And when you want to die, just drop dead. So Let's go to Greg. 